Right now, first at four, a Colorado man accused of being involved in the January 6th Capitol attack set to be in a federal court in Washington, D.C. on Friday. Several Colorado men have already been sentenced for their involvement. Most recently, a man from Peyton, Colorado, which is just outside of the Springs. He was sentenced to 30 months in federal prison. Thomas, Thomas Hamner illegally entered the west lawn of the Capitol and jumped over barricades before getting into a tug of war with Capitol Police. Colorado and Jeffrey Sable, who's accused of dragging a police officer down steps to be beaten with an American flag will be in court this Friday. Also in connection to the attack on the Capitol, the leader of the Oath Keepers, an extreme right-wing political group, is facing serious prison time. Stuart Rhodes and other members of the group have been convicted on several charges by a jury in Washington, D.C. CBS News reporter Scott McFarland with the very latest now from that federal courthouse in Washington. It was a marathon, two-month-long trial involving Stuart Rhodes, founder of the far-right Oath Keepers, the most high-profile figure to date to face charges in connection with the deadly January 6th riot. Prosecutors showed messages and images of the Oath Keepers hatching a plan to equip themselves with tactical gear and to stage guns outside the Washington, D.C. city limits to mobilize if then-President Trump invoked the Insurrection Act. He was responding to things that the former president was saying. That makes it a titanic event that will be surely in the history books, this, this conviction for seditious conspiracy. Prosecutors also argued Rhodes talked of civil war and was the architect of a plan that included some members of the Oath Keepers breaching the Capitol in a military stack formation. It was all laid out in audio presented at trial. Stay fully armed and prepared to go in armed if they have to. Rhodes took the stand in his own defense, arguing the group brought gear because they feared being targeted by left-wing agitators. But he didn't sway the federal jury that convicted both Rhodes and a top deputy, co-defendant Kelly Meggs, on multiple counts, including seditious conspiracy. Each man facing up to 20 years in prison on that charge alone. The jurors found three other Oath Keeper co-defendants not guilty of seditious conspiracy, but convicted them on other federal charges. Defense attorneys told CBS News they plan to appeal. Um, it goes without question, we're disappointed. That charge of seditious conspiracy, extremely serious, also very rare. The Department of Justice has not secured a conviction on that crime in nearly 30 years.